back down here at our buddy's shop. I uh, wanted to talk to you guys today about winter. Um, a lot of you guys, some of you guys might not own one of these, maybe your first year, you might have had one for a while, but there's still some funky things that happen during the winter. Uh, the main one is not a lot of people understand the great heaters on these trucks. Um, they get in the truck, it's cold, you start it up, and your voltage is going to drop. Your lights are going to dim, and then it comes back, and then it drops, and then it comes back. Um, there's a lot of people that think that is an issue. It's not. Uh, your grid heater on your truck draws a lot of power, and it's automatically controlled in the truck. So it is going to kick on, it's going to kick off. And when it kicks on, there's such a draw that it's going to dim your lights a little bit. You're going to see your voltage drop a little bit. Um, you're going to think something's wrong. In most cases, it's not. It's just nature of the beast. Um, so that's one thing, one big thing to keep in mind. You might not have a problem that you think you do. Um, another thing, I don't live in a cold area. Uh, it does freeze. Let's see, we might get down low 30s. Rarely, rarely, rarely am I gonna see high 20s and below. Um, but on this truck, on mine, I still plug the block heater in. Um, the block heaters are really, really useful. You don't have to use them, but it helps. Anytime that you can help that truck start, um, diesels don't like being cold and when you're starting them up 30 below even even 40 below you're going to notice that they're starting a little harder than usual uh, so the block heater helps a lot and I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, that these trucks have the block heaters in the block not all of them have the cord but most all of them have the block heater element in the block. So if you don't have the cord or you don't think you have a block heater on one of these Cummins trucks, you might double check because the block heater element might be there. It's just you need to buy and install the power cord for it, which is pretty simple. Um, and it's always nice. Uh, like for instance, when I use mine, when I use mine, when I park the truck at night, before I shut it off, I'll turn the defrost on and I'll turn the heat all the way up and that'll adjust the blend doors in it in the heater box to where any heat from the heater core is gonna go up to the defrost. Uh, on a lot of vacuum trucks, I think Fords, when they're all vacuum controlled, I think they default in defrost. Uh, don't quote me on that. I don't, I don't know much about that, but that's just what I do on this one. So when I do plug the block heater in at night, whether it's 40, 30, or below, whatever, um, when I get in the morning, the defrost is already, the radiant heat from the defroster, because there's natural convection in your water, um, it it's gonna have that window, not totally clear, but clear enough to do stuff, to go places. Um, Oh, another quick tip. This is one I like, okay. You know when you get in your truck, you walk over to your truck and it's cold outside and you grab the door and it's frozen shut and you're just ripping and ripping and ripping and then it finally comes open. This is a really good thing to do. So I got a can of silicone spray and a lot of people, some people use Vaseline. Um, some people don't even think about it until their door's frozen shut. But I think this is a really good option. Nick, can you hold it? So what I'll do is I'll take a paper towel. I'm using all like paper towels. It's all right. Put in a little square or anything. And I don't spray this on the door because I don't want to make a big mess. But I'll spray this on my towel like that. Then I'll just wipe my door seals down all the way around the door seal. 
And don't be afraid to use a bunch. It doesn't make a big mess, but if you just went to town spraying, uh, well, spraying everything, you'd have a pretty good disaster on your hands. So do that one, and possibly this one too, up here. That one's big enough, we can do that. Okay, and next time you get in the truck, when it's froze, your door's not gonna stick, and you're, never gonna, you're not gonna think about it again. Uh, just one of those little tips that not many people think about until it's too late. But yes, this stuff uh, works wonders. The doors aren't going to stick anymore when they're froze. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> So that's just an idea. Um, I know I've said this a few times in the other videos, you know, going into winter, there's a lot of de-icer on the road. There's a lot of crap, you know, like you can see this, I try to keep it clean, but you got all this stuff building up on your paint. Uh, it gets down in your steering suspension, all that stuff. Um, just bear in mind guys, keep your trucks greased um keep them somewhat clean keep them somewhat clean you don't have to make a point of it to wash it every weekend in the winter you know just just take care of these things um you know we're we're pretty fortunate to have them you know you work hard to pay for them and you need to take care of them um I can't really think of any other winter tips that I have right now. The main thing though is those grid heaters. If, you know, if you see your voltages or your lights pull down or anything funky and then you know kicking up and down, don't don't stress about that too much because most likely it's your grid heater kicking on and off. Um, and look into those plugs because if you if you have one of these things and you don't think you have a grid heater or you don't have the cord and you don't look into it that's just a feature that you have on the truck that you're missing out on um, so I would definitely look into that uh, I knew that this is going to be a short one this week but I think that's okay I still want to thank you guys immensely for sticking around watching me through these and um, go down below Hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep, you know, see this thing progress. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll see you on the next one.